What's good everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my date night makeup as well as how to get this glam hair with some clip-in extensions from Bellamy. I am so excited to work with them today because I stand by their brand. They are an amazing brand and I cannot wait to show you guys how I put them in and how you can get hair to look like this. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely like, comment, and subscribe, as well as go follow me on social media, especially TikTok, because I be on there showing you guys my hygiene routine every day, so go check that out. Anyways, let's get right into installing these extensions, and then I will show you guys my date night makeup. Today I am going to be wearing the Bellissima hair extensions. These are 220 grams, and they are 22 inches, so girl, I am serving you length today. By the way, if you guys do want to purchase these, definitely use my link, which will be in the description bar below. First, I'm going to do is put in the three-clip weft. What I love is that they open and close so easy. So you just snap them open, push the sides, snap them close. So right about here, halfway of my ear, is where I just like to make the first little section. So I'm leaving out about this much hair. So what I do is I take the middle on the hair, little circular motions, so I could clip the excess hair in, and I snap. Then I take the side, I'm taking this clip, doing the same thing. So I take another three clip weft. Now you guys can straighten these as you go. If you want them to be like super pin straight, mine are really straight already just because I straightened them the last time I used them. Take the little bit of hair, go in circular motions. By the way, you guys can tease your hair at the root just to make it stick a little bit better. Personally, I don't really need to do that at all. If you have really thin, thin hair, then I would recommend to do that, but I don't really like to tease at the root personally. Now I'm taking the four clip weft. Near the tail of my eyebrows is where I'm going to create my next section. I'm going to take these two, these are both two clip wefts, and we're going to put them in the sides of our hair. I'm taking right about here by the arch of my brow, Now, personally, I like to stop there, but Bellamy also includes another four-clip weft, which is amazing. So, if you guys have thick hair, you're guaranteed that it's going to blend because there's so much hair that they provide. They also include in the pack four of these small clips, so if you want to apply them throughout your hair, if you have any little pieces or areas where you just want that extra um, length or extra thickness, then these are great to throw in. Oh, it's so beautiful. I just wanted to show you guys me standing up, how long they are. They are so long. It's crazy. They look so natural, though. They blend so beautifully. Bellamy is so good at matching my hair to these extensions. Like, oh, beautiful, thick, amazing. I'm so obsessed. So I just primed my eyes with some concealer and some powder. It's pretty funny. I've always loved makeup, of course, since I was little, but I was, as a kid, of course, into it, but I was into more body care for a little while over makeup, and then I kind of, like, transferred a lot of my energy into um, makeup. Do you guys remember when, like, MAC was the thing of makeup? Like, it was just so popular because when I was a kid, if you didn't have, like, a MAC lip gloss, I think that's what they were called at the time, oh my god, like, you didn't even know the makeup game at all, and it's just so funny. I heard different things as to why MAC Cosmetics kind of fell off just because of their marketing and branding and whatnot. Personally, I still think that their products are amazing. I love their highlighters. I think they have like such beautiful highlighters, I have to say. I heard also that's the same thing that happened with um, Forever 21 because when I was a kid, like Forever 21 was it. Like, it was just so popular. Everyone was shopping at Forever 21. It was just so popular. Now I'm going to do is take Snack, which is the shimmery, um, like, pinkish color. I think that's really cute for a date. Just, like, nice, pretty, 
has that pink champagne -y tint. I just think it's really, really pretty. And I'm using my finger. I'm just going to tap it on. Now what I'm going to do, take a little bit of cone, which is like a tan color, and I'm kind of just buffing those two shadows together. Okay, so we are done with that. What I'm going to do is throw on some liquid liner, and I'll be right back. So I threw on some liner, and then I did the tiniest little bit with a pencil liner of brown pencil liner right in here. By the way, the majority of my time, I always use brown liner. And when I mean brown, I mean on my top lid, like when I use liquid, dark brown, and as well as my bottom lash line. So if you guys especially have brown eyes, it's just so much more flattering and less harsh. So especially for a casual date night, I would definitely recommend this. Okay, so now I'm going to do is take some foundation. I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Foundation, which I really like. I think this stuff is really good. It's not one of those that, like, I'm so obsessed with to the point where, like, I need it again. Would I buy it again? Yeah, but I'm not, like, to die for over it, but it's really pretty. I'm very blessed to have clear skin, so I don't need to use a lot, a lot of foundation either way. Um, but my skin was not always clear. I, just like everyone else, struggled with acne, and it's interesting. I always, like, struggle with acne, but it wasn't, like, bad acne. And then when I turned 18, I started getting, like, milia, like, the tiny little bumps. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, like, the little clogged pores. And I started getting that, and I was so frustrated, you guys. Like, I was so frustrated. And so I started using all of this like crazy, you know, acne products, deep cleansing products, like all this stuff. And then I finally was like, okay, none of this is working. I got to figure out something. Now, the main thing that cleared up my skin was just simplicity. And that's when I started using um, baby wash. Baby wash just, I don't know, it just cleared up my skin so well. That's why I talk about it so much on my channel because it's amazing. It's nice. It's gentle. Drink a lot of water, you guys. Use very gentle products and see your skin transform. I'm telling you now, I know some people struggle, you know, really bad with like cystic acne and different things. So I understand, obviously, my routine's not going to work for everyone. I've never had cystic acne, so I don't know what heals that and what does that. My little cousin went on Accutane, and I do have to say that, like, really helped her and her acne. So, I mean, shop around, you know. I still will get little breakouts. Like, I have one right here and one little one right there. So, my skin isn't always, like, so perfect, you know. But, for the most part, it's really clear. I have to say I love this concealer trick where you only put it here and here. It just lifts your eyes so much and I don't like to bring it too far down. I just like to keep it up here. I think a lot of people will do this trick but then they'll bring it all the way down and I'm like what was the point of putting it where you wanted to put it if you're going to bring it down. I used to love these type of sponges a lot and then I stopped using them for like bacteria reasons and whatnot. But I got this one for Christmas from um, my brother's girl, and I have to say I'm back on the big sponge game. I know it might not be the most hygienic, but, you know, I always keep it washed. I wash it before every use, and I don't know, I just, I love it. I know I've mentioned this on my channel, and I know that Living Ash also mentioned this and actually made a whole video about it me I just briefly touched on it a little while ago on my channel but there was this tweet that went out and it got very popular like it literally went viral and it was like if you're you know over the age of whatever the heck and you still wear like body sprays it was just shaming people who still wear you know body sprays and bath and body works have Victoria's secret and I saw the tweet and like I got offended I was just like oh my god I don't know why people have to hate and Living Ash said in her video when she made the whole dedicated video for it she was like 
Sometimes I don't want to wear my like Chanel perfume to the grocery store. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of people could be so judgmental when it comes to, of course, everything in this world, but especially, you know, people's choices. And it was just so messed up because it's like, why must you have to steal joy away from other people? And why must you hate on other people? Because, boo, we be smelling better than y'all, you know what I mean? I thought it was really messed up because not everyone can go afford to buy a Chanel perfume, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes someone can only afford, like, one of these. Like, it's so screwed up how people have such opinions, you know what I mean? And negative opinions. You know, having opinions is one thing, but being negative and putting negative energy into the world, that's a whole nother type of thing. And I don't know, I just thought it was so messed up. I wanted, I know I touched on it a little bit on my channel, but I wanted to talk about it again. Just because I was like thinking about that and how um, a lot of people just can be very, very judgmental. I know Living Ash talks a lot about the hate that this community, the body care community, receives, especially on YouTube. And it's so messed up because, you know, just like someone who collects clothes, I think a lot of people think that it's hoarding and it is not hoarding. It's so serious. It's such a serious thing to say that someone hoards stuff. Like, it's so wrong because people actually struggle with that. I get how a lot of people are like, oh, you'll never finish all of those. Yeah, I, I probably won't finish all of the body sprays that I have. My goal isn't to finish all of them. My goal is to enjoy them and have options. And, you know, one day when I want to wear this, I have this. And I just don't understand why some people just don't get it. I know there are some, you know, YouTubers that focus on using up their products. And, of course, I like to use my products as much as possible. You know what I mean? I wear them every single day. But, of course, I'm not going to get through all of these products. I just think that it's so, so not anyone's business what you do. Yeah, I just wanted to go on a little rant real quick. Just because it's been like kind of weighing on my mind and I wanted to share with you guys and go a little more in depth. So tonight I'm actually going on a little girls date with my best friend Jana. We are going to go get some food and stuff our faces because we deserve it. We really do. The food at this tavern is just amazing. Like oh my god it's so good. And we know being Italian is a personality trait in my book so... <laughs> Um, we know how I know some good Italian food, and let me tell you, the tomato that goes on that pie, ooh, girl, so good, like, so good. Right now, I'm using Bella Bellini, and you guys know I'm, like, a diehard, like, Luminoso lover, but I do love Bella Bellini so much as well from them. They just have the best blushes. I love baked blushes because it has that little bit of shimmer so I don't need to put on a highlighter if I don't want to because it already has that like shine. And don't get me wrong, I love doing matte blushes as well. Like I love a good 90s moment but I love a good healthy glow. I want to keep it pinky so I'm going to take Blush Gems by e.l.f. This little highlight with my e.l.f. highlighting brush. Taking a little bit of my bronzer and I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes. All I've done so far is put on some LA Girl Brown Eyeliner underneath my eyes. Of course, mascara lashes, which these are all the things that on camera, like, do I really want to do on camera? My eyebrows. If you guys do want to see me do all of this on camera, then I will one day. So let me know. But I did my eyebrows with some shadow because thank God the Lord gave me some thick brows. And on my lips right now, I have on Sugar and Spice by LA Girl, the lip liner, which in most of my videos I am wearing, like, I love that. As well as the Maybelline Warm Me Up um, lipstick, which I love. I'm definitely a lipstick girl for sure. For my fragrance today, I am applying Rose Water and Ivy by Bath & Body Works. This just is perfect for a day night. It smells super expensive, super good. I already put on the lotion already, so... Smelling good, and then I'm gonna apply some Miss Dior. Those go together so well. So, anyways, there is that. 
anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on social media, especially TikTok, you guys. You already know. I love you all so much. You seriously are my blessings, and you make this possible. You make my YouTube journey absolutely amazing, and I'm so happy and so blessed to have each and every one of you. God bless you guys. Love you so much, and I'll see you guys in my next one.